Content. Now this is a story all about how Spooky Samuel is going to save the world from mortality or something. So we're now working to really better the cause of the skeleton people. Spooky Samuel is going to be a champion for his race and prove that the fact that the world appears to be all against him is nothing. He will overcome all odds, mostly using this huge army of pigs, which is going to be a bit ironic, but anyway. So here we have goblin forces, and I believe those goblin forces were just attacking this fort, and it looks like one of the other skeleton men is going to... Who is that? Uh, yeah, one of the other skeleton men is saving the fort and scattering the goblin forces. So what we're going to do is start gaining our reputation among the skeletons by taking out these enemies. Let's get going, shall we? Oh god, I hope we don't lose. <laughs> Wait a minute, what if we lose? <laughs> um, hello, big boss. What was the name there? Ugly lad. <laughs> well, what was that again? I think I misheard you. You couldn't possibly have said what I thought you said. It's ugly lad. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, and, um, and, and what do you do? I'm, I, I'm, I'm a beauty <laughs> contest winner. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, oh, by the way, surrender or die? Surrender or die? We've got no quarrel, sir. <laughs> Look at my arms. My hands aren't even attached to my arms. You wouldn't attack a disabled man now, would you? Unfortunately, I've heard that you are one of the skeleton's mortal enemies, and as a skeleton, I am going to play the identity politics game. That's none of your business. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is amazing. So he's saying, like, I'm going up to this guy. I'm being like, all right, I'm going to kill you and all your friends and everything you stand for. And he's like, why? Like, uh, th there's no reason for that. And I'm just going, it's none of your business, good sir. I won't even do the honor of telling you why I've decided to suddenly start killing you. Prepare to fight. <laughs> well... Oh, there we go. Our uh, relations have deteriorated, so we're probably now going to be officially at war with the goblin people. So let's hope that this first battle goes well. Oh, this is a cool battlefield. Nice desert. Um, hey, who are those two guys? Who are these guys? Hey, hey, follow me. Oh, I think this might be another... Oh, one of the other goblin... Yeah, another goblin army <laughs> has come in to fight these goblins with me. That's interesting. I always knew Spooky Samuel had level 100 speech skill. He's actually convinced the enemy's reinforcements to join him before the battle. So that's fantastic news. And because I don't care about the goblins, of course, I don't worry about the friendly fire. So, Oh, I don't have my Gatling gun equipped. Oh, that's a shame. I've only got my shotgun equipped. Never mind. Uh, we should be fine. I'll just order my men to walk up here. Oh, look at these guys. My forces are so much better than theirs. We need to train up the skeletons, though. So we don't want to risk the skeletons in battle. Which ones are the enemies? Which ones are ours? Doesn't really matter at this stage, does it? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da -da. This guy looks like he's coming for me. There we go. Yep, here's an enemy. How are you doing, Edward? Oh, <laughs> I've given Edward the hand cannon. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing with that. I suspect that doesn't work very well. Uh, so let's see... Uh, allies lost quite a lot of my men, and I don't really understand why, and the enemy lost quite a lot of their men. Fantastic. We didn't capture their commander. Oh wow, a skeleton knight. And a necropolis knight. Oh my god, is this a, a skeleton riding a snake with a skull instead of a head? <laughs> a human skull on a snake's body. I love it. Please, you god, you're expensive. I'll, I'll just cheat if I run out of money. Oh, I've got loads of money. Okay, we're fine for money. We're going to try... Our pig armada, and we've got pigs and dragons for our cavalry. There's the enemy up there. So we're going. Oh, and there's the snake guy. Look at that. That's absolutely sensational. So you can see my men forming up behind me. We've got all of these pigs, a few elves on dragons, and a skeleton on a human snake combination undead creature. And what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is destroy our foes. Let's just fire randomly in their direction. Cavalry advance. Go, go, go! Pig him up! Boom! Oh, we took one down. Yes, yes! Swarm them with our pigs, dragons, and snake humans! Oh, there's an enemy in there, I think. We did it, we did it. <clears throat> Absolutely amazing. The pig charge just annihilated our foes. No casualties. That is what I like. A skeleton horse archer? I'm interested. A dwarf. <laughs> we accept all members. Spooky Skeleton has now become 
quite an uh, an activist for equality in the world. So he is willing to take on any any race of troops into his army in order to undo the injustice he was done when he was poorly treated in his various adventures through the world. So it looks like there's more goblins there, but let's take on this bigger band. Chasing. Keep chasing. Got him. It's <laughs> it's Big Boss Bog Fad. <laughs> the comic B B B Big Bossy Bog Fad. And Big Boss Bog Boss Big Big Fad Boss Bish Bag Bish Bash Bosh Dooby Dooby Doo Do Surrender or Die. <laughs> that would be a good way like you can imagine the uh, the two armies forming up in front of each other and the two generals come up to sort of try and talk it out and see if they can avoid some violence and one of them says my name is Big Boss Bogfad and the other one goes do, 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 Big Bossy Bogfad you'll die I think that would be quite intimidating <laughs> I think the enemy forces would be very scared same goddamn map right form up this enemy army is actually big okay our tiny line, really not much to it. And the enemy is starting to advance towards us now. Once they charge, my cavalry on this wing will simply charge them. I'll just blast my shotgun in their general direction, shoot those spiders. Um, oh, oh, do you see that? That was an explosion. I think Eduardo just fired the hand cannon. Cavalry, charge! They're getting in close, and uh, infantry, fall back. No, archers fall back. Oh shit, got the archers to fall back too late. Right, here come the cavalry. Let me get out of the way for a second. So the, the enemy completely obliterated our ranks with their charge, but uh, we'll be fine. Oh, I'm actually going to die. So I'm lying about the whole we'll be fine thing, by the way. Yep, there I go. But I think we should win that battle because my cavalry attack was devastating. Our dragons and pigs should now slash at the enemy infantry, but I'm interested by these giant creatures the enemy seem to have. Yes, 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 yes. A battle as old as time itself. Pigs and dragons versus spiders. Looks like the spiders slightly faster. This dog, he's seen some shit. <laughs> nope, nope. I thought he was just going to watch, but looks like he's going off on an adventure. Oh, our, our skelly man's been knocked off his, <laughs> his rather happy looking snake. Hello, will you be my friend? <laughs> what a nightmare creature that is. We won the battle. I think we might have taken extreme casualties. I, my cavalry attack was a bit late, I think, and the enemy actually rode right through our ranks and destroyed everything. We lost 12, including our ninja master. <laughs> no. We won't be able to get another one of those until next Halloween. Oh, well, we'll take on all we can from the rescued prisoners to add to our company. And hopefully now we can start upgrading our regular troops. Oh, wow. I have eight level ups to apply. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Paying attention, haven't I been... Oh, and that's, yeah, that's the exact order those words are meant to be in, I think. Yeah, yeah, that is the order those words go in. Yeah, you say, paying attention, I was being. Oh, click to edit face. I've made it back to one of the skeleton cities, and I thought I'd visit the tavern, and you know what? This is strangely normal. After visiting those beastmen taverns, I expected some sort of crazy orgy of death all over the place, but looks like it's fine that you've got a non-undead person manning the bar. Tavern keep! Uh, first, let's get rid of all these prisoners. Sell them off, so... Do you accept goblins as currency at this bar? <laughs> I want a double shot of whiskey. I want to pay with this creature I have under my arm. Don't listen to what it says. I haven't done anything to it. Those orifices were always plugged up like that. Um, we should actually check out some of these guys, because we might be able to hire some of these people into our party. And I like the look of mercenary <laughs> zombie pirate. Look at his face. <laughs> I show you a good time. A mercenary zombie pirate. <laughs> Such a, a crazy combination of occupations. Do you need mercenaries? Me and four of his mates looking for a master. Uh, I don't even have to pay that much. Certainly. I'll certainly take your band of zombie pirates. Now, we've got the mercenary undead pirate. Which is great. Very distinct from the zombie pirate. This is like... You start as this. You go through puberty. And you become this. <laughs> Let's see what this this guy's more expensive. Oh, because he's a skeleton. He has finer taste. Of course, I'm always looking for more skeletons. Now we have the, the actual non-immortal creatures, which I'm not too interested in. Oh, this is a companion. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If it's 100, yeah, 100 dinars, yep. <laughs> we'll just take all these guys on. We don't really care who they are, but they'll provide some combat ability, I'm sure. I won't even give them any weapons, but we'll just see how they do. And if they, if they amuse me, I will deign to give them clothes. <laughs> That's how things work in Spooky Samuel's party. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have talked to this door because it's... Oh, hello. Well, now we've got a very interesting environment. Once we've got outside the bar, 
Look at this. Here we are in ancient Egypt. Everything's on fire, but apart from that, lovely place. Oh, there's a giant skeleton sphinx up there. That's amazing. This is... I don't know what to say about this. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm so inspired to fight for the Tomb Kings because look at the cities they build. Aren't they a thing of majesty? All the buildings are basically like under sand. We spend absolutely no effort maintaining the streets, the infrastructure or anything to make these settlements habitable. We just spend all of our resources building absolutely gigantic statues of skeletons. I love this in every way, shape and form. Hostile spotted. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy has 59 prisoners in his party. If we can catch him, we can take on those 59 prisoners and they'll be our party. We're about to become a lot powerful, a lot more powerful. This Tomb King army is coming in though. If they steal the prisoners off me, now th this is mine. This is mine, you goddamn son of a bitch. Get out of my way or I'll, or I'll send you back to South Africa. Looks like there's some more enemies possibly getting involved here. I'm going to tell this spider rider to die. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Because the enemy might actually win. We're going to have to be very careful and somehow win this battle. I might have to do a cavalry charge. Oh god, look at this. Oh, and Samuel's actually already wounded from previous fights. So this could be very difficult for him. For his poor skeleton self. Oh, kill one of them there. Cavalry! Oops, sorry. Cavalry advance! There we go. <laughs> Just gonna make sure they hear me. Cut that guy off his damn spider. Okay. And the enemy infantry are now going to come in. This is going to be very difficult. We need to, just need to hope... Oh, this cow isn't very good, is it? We need to, no, it's not very good. I was going to say, we need to hope our cavalry can win this. I don't know if they can, though, because there's so much enemy infantry, they'll get bogged down in it. Oh, yes. Look at these dark elves and their dragons just slashing at the enemy. No! We lost! <laughs> we lost three mercenary zombie pirates and two mercenary undead pirates. Okay, hopefully we can get some more of those pirates because they are sensational. And look at this. Our force is about to swell, possibly to its maximum size. All these horse archers. A Nekakakakarian champion. He's not even very good, actually. Skeleton marksman to some archers to our line. Tomb guard. A decent infantry. Exactly what we need. We probably can't even take all these guys in. I'll take the skeleton knights. We might have to prioritize here. Yes! More snake riders. I love it. Oh, so the mercenary zombie pirates. When you upgrade them, they become mercenary undead pirates. So it's actually a level up to strip their flesh off. And then you level them up again and they become the mercenary undead pirate captain with a fantastic captain's hat. I like this chain of troops very much. I hope we can have a lot more of these guys. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I decided to speak to the, uh, the Tomb Lord who was uh, just following me to see if he'd let me join the Tomb Lord army or something. But instead, he wants me to hunt down a lawless villain known as Walchius of Bretonia's Got Talent fame, who murdered some of his men. And I quite enjoy this guy's face as well. I'm wondering if I could get a face like that. It's so dignified as far as skeleton faces go. So we need to clearly uh, work our way up the ranks to get a face like this man. He says he's at Thebes, which obviously is not a real-world location in any way. Can my cow jump this fence? Ah, oh. <laughs> we're not going to be winning Britannia's Got Talent anytime soon. <laughs> the amazing Samuel and his show-jumping cow. Oh, hello. Hello, my friends. I'll just get my shotgun out. Two fellows sitting in the barn. Village elder. The Hang on, you can get off my uh, cow. I realise the reason I don't have my Gatling gun is because I've equipped the room rifle of reloading. Let me just get around these huge hay breasts. Hey, a nervous man sitting at the back of a darkened barn in the hay, which, uh, of course, is a very natural behaviour that no one would think is suspicious. What do you want? I'm looking for a murderer <laughs> by the name of Walshius of Bretonia's Got Talent Fame. And you fit his description. Oh, this guy must be French. Oh, what do you want? Uh, I don't understand, so I never killed anyone. I think you've got the uh, wrong man. Aha, but he won that talent contest for lying, as I recall. Then drop your sword. <laughs> oh my god, Samuel's voice changes every time. His breasts. Then drop your sword. If you're innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbours and see if they verify your story. And I'll go on my way. I just remembered that I am the murderer. Alas, but you cannot be made to see reason. <laughs> Do you see this reason? Whoopsie. Shot you right in the face. 
So now we need to find that guy with the face again and, uh, oh, you saw nothing. Find that guy with the face and tell him that we've shot that man in the head for it. And he'll, he'll like us a little bit more. That's just how it works. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>